This video provides an overview of how residents set up and use the MyQ Community app, answer calls, and open doors. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. The MyQ Community app works with LiftMaster's smart video intercoms that are installed in multifamily buildings and gated communities. With the app, residents can visually verify who is at the entrance through the app's one-way video calling and two-way voice communication. The app allows residents to unlock any authorized entrance in a number of ways. Residents can also create and share virtual guest passes with their visitors via text messages or emails sent from the MyQ Community app. Your community manager will arrange for you to receive an email invitation for MyQ Community. Follow the link in the email to download the MyQ Community app. Launch the app. If you have a MyQ Community account, choose Login. If you don't have an account, choose Create Account and follow the prompts to complete account signup. If you signed up with the same email address that you received the app invitation at, the app will automatically ask you to join the community when you log in. Click Accept Invitation to join the community. If you signed up using a different email address than you received your invitation at, click Join Community. Then, enter the access code from your invitation email to join the community. Once you join the community, you will be able to see a list of entrances assigned by your property manager. You should also see a pop-up message at the bottom of the screen that says, All set. You can start receiving video calls. Make sure to allow push notifications, access to the microphone and speaker in the app. Now, let's cover some functions and features of the app. The Press to Unlock feature allows you to unlock any authorized entrance with a smartphone from anywhere, either for yourself or your guests. On the home screen, select the entrance to unlock. Hold the button until it displays Unlocked. The door will be unlocked for the length of time configured by the property manager. If your community is equipped with LiftMaster smart readers or certain types of smart video intercoms, you can also unlock doors with MyQ Mobile Credentials. For the MyQ Community app to work with MyQ Mobile Credentials, both Bluetooth and location sharing need to be enabled. You will be asked to do this in the app when first logging in. There are three ways for your mobile device to unlock an entry with MyQ Mobile Credential. Tap Mode. Tap your phone to a smart reader or a smart video intercom to unlock a door. Your phone can be either locked or unlocked. Alert Mode. Get close to a smart reader or a smart video intercom. A notification will be pushed to your phone. Then, unlock the door through the push notification. Touch Mode. This mode is only supported with a smart reader. Touch the upper part of a smart reader with your hand to unlock the door while your phone is close by. Make sure your phone has a good line of sight to the reader. The range will vary depending on obstructions. The app comes with default settings that work best for most users. To further customize and fine-tune your mobile credential experience, go to Settings, then Mobile Credentials. Residents with the MyQ Community app receive video calls placed by visitors over a LiftMaster video intercom. Residents get a one-way video call from visitors and both parties can talk over two-way audio communication. Residents can visually identify guests through video calls and then grant or deny access. When receiving a video call on a locked iOS phone, first, unlock the phone. Next, click on the MyQ icon. Then, you will see video of the visitor calling from the entrance. You can then grant or deny access. When receiving video calls on a locked Android phone, first, unlock the phone and open notifications. Next, Click and accept the notification. Then, you will see video of the visitor calling from the entrance. You can then grant or deny access. Remember to allow push notifications and access to both the microphone and the speaker for the app. If you are in an area with poor internet connectivity, you may experience a compromised video image or an audio-only call. Setting up a guest pass is easy in the MyQ Community app. Residents can create and share virtual guest passes with their visitors via text message or emails right from the app. A visitor using a virtual guest pass is granted access to an entrance without having to call a resident. To create a guest pass, go to the MyQ Community app and navigate to Guest Pass. Then, click the plus sign. 
you are able to create three types of guest passes quick pass, temporary pass, and recurring pass. Quick Pass gives visitors access to entrances for only the two hours immediately following its creation. Temporary Pass has custom start and end dates. Recurring Pass has custom start and end dates plus assigned days of the week that the visitor is allowed access. We will demonstrate how to create a recurring pass. Select Recurring Pass on the screen. Enter a name for the pass. Select one or more entrances. Select the start and end times that you are granting access for your guest. Confirm the guest pass information and click Create. A guest pass that you can share is created. Click Send Recurring Pass. You can share the pass by selecting someone from your contacts or share the pass via other applications. When app users send out guest passes, Visitors get either a text message or an email. We will demonstrate a guest receiving a guest pass via text message. As a guest, open the text message. When the guest arrives at the entrance, if the guest wants a contactless access experience, or if there is no keypad installed at the entrance, click the URL link in the text message to launch the web-based guest pass. A web page is launched. Select the correct entrance and confirm. The entrance will then be unlocked. The guest may choose the keypad instead by entering the entry code from the text message via the keypad. For more information, visit the following website.